Hey guys, this is Rombor, and this is Spiritual Warfare for the NES by Wisdom Tree, version 6.1. I know in the background there it says 5.1, but I first saw this game in one of AVGN's videos. I think he did a Christmas special or is a Bible Games video, and he quickly glossed over this video game for a few minutes, and he said it was a Zelda clone, and I watched the footage, and yeah, it looks like a straight-up Zelda clone. And so I thought that was pretty cool, me being a Christian, and me loving Zelda, put those two together, heck yeah, let's do this. So, Spiritual Warfare, and yeah, it, whoa, yeah, it does, as you can see, it looks like Zelda right off the bat. see the inventory screen there you push start it scrolls up or scrolls down or whatever and then you can see your inventory and whoa oh I took no damage from that bomb or was that a vase or a vial you found the pearl it is your, a pear not pearl oh, so I got a pear it's dangerous to go out there in the world alone take this pear well it's a spiritual pair. I mean, this is spiritual warfare here. So the pair can be, as Skip Rogers would say, very powerful. Going down these stairs. Thank you, creepy balloon kid. So I need to look for the belt of truth. And which is part of the armor of God from the book of Ephesians. So I just killed an enemy right there. Or, not killed, but I threw it at an enemy and looks like yeah they pray after that so I guess the pair helps them to repent okay that was a waste oh man I'm out of bombs already I assume you can bomb through those barrels right there and well I gotta find some more bombs because I am out alright so let's go down this ladder here repent Oh, I got a dove. One dove. Was that a weapon? Or that's the dove, which represents the Holy Spirit. Get some more vials here. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what to do there. Okay, uh, whoa, this guy hiding behind a rock. Whoa! Baby Ridleys. Or demons, or spiritual demons. Yes! All right, I guess that person was possessed. Got some, another Holy Spirit point. There's the belt of truth. All right. So instead of the old man giving me a sword, an angel gives me the items here. All right, so I got the belt of truth. Truth be told, I don't know if I've played any Bible games in my entire life. Or Christian type games, or whatever you want to call them. Now I got enough vials here, bombs, whatever you want to call it, to bomb through all these barrels. And there's got to be something at the end right there when I get to it, otherwise, just a waste of time and bombs. Oh, yes, a door. All right. Oh, it's him again. An apple. Oh, but I don't... <laughs> my faith is weak. I talk about some conviction there. My faith is weak. Oh, little... Oh, yeah, little faith. You don't have enough to use this apple, which is, I guess, another part of the... The, uh... It's called the... Fruits of the Spirit. And it's more powerful than the pear, I believe, is what it said right there. So, oh well, I guess I'll come back later when I have enough faith to get the apple. And, alright, so, 25 vials now, 3 Holy Spirit points. What to go, sorry about that, the bottom of the screen there is cut off, that's on my end. Alright, let me build my faith here. Gotta get out there in the world, preach the gospel, increase my faith. Repent, repent, yeah, repent by throwing pear at people's faces. That'll, that'll turn them. 
trash cans here. Am I got to make Oscar the Grouch repent too? Okay, I can. Oh, nice. Okay, and I can also bomb the bushes. Oh, there's a paper boy up there. Hey, wrong game. Repent to go back to your own game. Ah, freaking demon touched me. I wonder if you can get possessed in this game, just like you can in Uninvited. You pretty creepy. This would be a fun children's game for those that were grown up in a Christian household and parents that are concerned about what kind of games their children play. Well, this would be a good, safe game to play. Probably educational too. I think you answered some Bible trivia questions later on. If I remember seeing that in AVGN's video or or what, I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. And those that are not Christian or maybe atheists or whatever probably have no desire to play this game whatsoever, but at the same time, though, even so, if you like Zelda, you might like this one, maybe. Is this supposed to be the Wellspring of Life? I don't know, but I don't want to try to blow that up. Come on now, Ronnie. Anyway. Alright, where to go next here? More sinners. Repent. Repent. Go. What the heck. Okay. Uh, there's the uh, Zelda raft. If you'd like to raft, you'll need Samson's jawbone to retrieve it. Oh. Rumor has it the jawbone is in the locked room in the shipyard. Oh. Do I have to beat up a lot of Philistines to get it? Do I need to avoid Delilah? Alright, I'm gonna go down here and... Ever been down here before? Don't remember. No, I don't think I have. I didn't get that... What is it? That potion over there, whatever it is. Right, let's see what I got there. Let me check my inventory here. of the spirit anointing oil that's the all right. oh that's the praying hands oh vile God's wrath that's what the bomb is vile God's wrath okay over there was the praying hands oh, so I guess I can pray to God for help in this game no what am I doing I didn't been over here Go back. Ah, if you go back, it might become a grain of salt. I don't want that. It says in the Bible, does it put their hand in the plow looking back? It's not fit for the kingdom of God, so I don't want to go back. I wonder if I could throw something in there or move the stone or what? Alright, I'm praying here. I'm praying for help. I wonder what that really does in the game. If you get to a certain point in the game, you click praying hands, and then you can actually find a secret passage. I don't know. The enemy about to catch these hands. The anointing oil. Ah, restores health, okay. Just like the potion in Zelda. I wonder if you can fast in this game. Praying and fasting. See if that'll help me out here. See if I use the bomb. Yeah, use the bomb to bomb these bushes out the way. Mm -hmm. 
man, I'm really increasing my faith here. Whoa. Railroad tracks there. I guess I gotta get aboard a train or something. Yeah, I'm praying right here because I don't know what to do. Need to become a prayer warrior. Okay, I just lost some faith there. What happened? Oh, wait, because I used... Okay, I guess when I did pray, that took away some of the faith. Huh. Park train station. Warehouses, slums, shipyards, houses. You need a ticket to ride the train. Well, dadgum, I don't have a dadgum ticket. Guess I'm not ready to go on a mission trip quite yet. I've been at the park the whole time. It says park up there at the top of the screen. We go in here. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, playing basketball here. Hey, can I can I play? Well, what the heck? I can't even can't even go over there. Oh shoot. Nope, can't bomb my way over there either. All right. Well, you play a game of horse with him, or one on one, and if you win, he repents, or what? I don't know. Reminds me of was the Oracle of Seasons or Ages, where you fight that boxer. When you win, you get his boxing gloves or something. Oh, some Bible trivia. Jesus said that God's word is truth. And that kid over there, I guess it's the character I'm playing as. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. ECW. Jesus. Yeah, so there is Bible trivia. And there are some faith points for doing that, too. Cool. All men. Uh, I guess when you get all the questions right, your bow tie spins. All right, cool. You playing as problem child here? Yeah, so this video might be, as I'm recording this, I'm not sure of the time, but might be pretty short. I'm not going to explore too much of the game. I just want to get this out there real quick and check this out. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. You watching right now, how many of you have played this game and what do you think? Nice, got 35 vials of wrath. Vials of God's wrath. Uh, is this game better than Wrath of the Blank Manta? I don't know. say Wrath of the Black Manta, not Blank Manta, whatever I said. For those of you who have never heard of that game, check out that LP on the AST2K, shameless plug. It was one of the first LPs we did on the channel back in 2009. Alright, I got the Belt of Truth so I can push that block there out of the way in order to, I guess, get to the next town there. Ooh, now in downtown. All right. Now I'm really going on a mission trip here. This is starting to look like Superman for the NES or something. I guess this is what the Legend of Zelda would look like if it took place in a modern-day city. As a freaking construction workers are blocking me in here. Look at that, man. I'm just trying to do God's work. Come on. Oh, let me see what I want here. Alright, uh, I have enough faith to buy uh, any one of these. Uh, but, uh, probably gonna... Probably gonna take a pass. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't need it right now. I mean, I'm about to stop playing here in a few minutes anyway, so... But yeah, um... Well, I'll go back in the park here. I'm kind of stuck. So 
do a little backtracking here, see if I can discover anything new in the park. Oh, well, dang it. Oh, there we go. I thought you could only move it once. Yeah, so I mean, so far so good. It does seem kind of cool if you are a believer and you want to, and you like Zelda games and you want to play this, especially if you were a kid. This would be a good uh, spiritually educational video game. Not bad. This paper boy again. Ouch, cheap shot. Well, the devil doesn't fight fair. I'm going to go to YouTube and see a full playthrough of this just to see what the rest of the game looks like and what you do. Like how you get over there to play basketball with him. Yeah, there's probably not much f for me to do here. I mean, there is more for me to do. I just don't know what to do yet. I'm probably I'm getting real close to... Uh, Probably stopping here in a few more minutes, or a few more seconds rather, because I think I'm kind of done messing around with this game. Just want to get a taste of what it's like, and a little glimpse of it. So right now I'm probably running in circles here, so I'll probably go ahead and give a, I guess, conclusion to this game as I get ready to stop recording here. So I mean, Spiritual Warfare, I don't know, so far I would say a 6.5 or 7 out of 10 does seem interesting. I guess it's one of those, uh, I won't call, what do you call it, adventure games, adventure type puzzle games, I guess. And yeah, I mean, it really intrigued me. So me being a believer in the Bible and the Christian faith, I want to check it out. And me being a lover of Zelda, also want to check it out. So I guess I kind of get the best of both worlds here. Doesn't seem like a bad game if you look at it from that point of view. So not a bad first impression so far. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. So I mean, not a bad first impression. Like I said, I give it either a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Not bad. So I want to check out this game real quick. Spiritual Warfare for the NES from Wisdom Tree. And that is it. I'm out of here, guys. I'm Ron Boar. God bless and take care.